don't know us, we are deep for the dancer. Yeah, say it now. Ooh, she want a lover, man. Call me, call me. She want a nice man. Call me, call me. She want a proper gift. Call me, bye. She needs a lover, lover. Call me. You're the type of girl I'm wanting. Wanting, I'm wanting. When you come around, you give me feeling. Close up. Damn! How can one person be so sweet? I'm fine. Uh -uh. And I'm supposed to give all of this beauty to one man? God forbid. This beauty is gonna go round and round and round. <laughs> Oh my God, push it up so that they can take the eyes off it. You're still getting ready. Babes, relax. I'm almost done, see now. I'm almost done, I'm just finishing up. Guess what? What? Charity is here. Which charity? The same charity, of course. Are you serious? Uh-huh. Did she come with her fine bubble? Which fine bubble? They broke up. Away. Man has two baby mamas. What? The wedding is so off. Ah. Uh -huh. Three brides and two babies. I'm telling you. The guy is crazy. Very crazy. But why are men like this though? <laughs> mm -hmm. What do men want? Honestly, what, what do, do they, they really want? want? Hmm. Okay. I hope she's fine though. Huh. She's okay. She moved on already. She better. She wants to party. If uncle. Girl has no you. chill. If now you know go party. That's why I keep telling you girls. All these. Oh, please, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. They're waiting I'm for us. I'm in love. I'm in love. It's not worth it. Uh, eh? Live your you. life. Be like me. Mm. Enjoy this life with different men, different cars. Let's go downstairs. I beg. They're waiting for us. Are they come You're now? fine already. Ah, uh, uh -huh. Look me well. Huh? Are they see him? Mm, Yo. Mm. Oh, Let's okay. go. Um, let me. Okay, um, I'll call Love it to take care of this. It's fine, let us go. Do I need uh, a bag? Let's go, it's downstairs. Wow, I can see your daughter is really back for the holidays. Love it! Love it! Love it! Yes, sir! Come here! Good morning, sir. Which monsters? Good morning. Which monsters kept my living room like a pigsty? Chief, I'm so, so sorry. The whole house is a mess. I started cleaning from upstairs. Upstairs? Stubble goat. Dad, you scared the crap out of me. 
I said no parties, didn't I? I did not party. Tell another lie you got. Sorry, I did not have any party. Why don't you tell another lie? You brought a man into my house, you cheap slut! <laughs> Dad! This does not belong to me, I don't even know. Now you're driving me to the wall. You're getting me very, very angry. You want me to disown you, right? Dad, this is not mine. I've never seen this before. It probably belongs to the maid. I, I think it's time to bring it to the table. We'll have to discuss whether you still want to be my daughter. Or I drive you out of my house. Is that what you want? No, no, you're okay. I'm sorry. I was, I was tired and lonely, and I just called like two or three of my friends. And it was not really a party. Now get yourself together and go and clean my house. You good for nothing entity. Excuse me. Dense buffoon. You had the guts to rat me out to my dad. Huh? I'm talking to you. I told you to clean this place before 5 a.m. this morning. What happened? I don't resume by 5. I resume by 8. It's not my fault your dad walked in when he did. Shut up! Stop when I'm talking to you. Now you listen and listen good. You will resume any time I want you to. Okay? Unless, of course, you want to lose your job. I can see you're beginning to grow wings. I will clip those wings of yours. I promise you. Idiot. Bloody fool. Zombie. Look at you. You just fat like fool. Coward. Village girl. Get out of my sight. Better clean this place well. Coward. Ah, you. You will learn. Vagabond. These are meeting good food. You know, my daughter does all these despite me. She does them to annoy me. Chief, I think your daughter is just an attention seeker. Most kids of very busy parents do that a lot. Kids? Samantha is not a kid. I got her into the prestigious Columbia University and she was rusticated after three years. Wow. That's, that's bad. You know, <laughs> someone suggested I disown her. Oh no, Chief. That would look really, really awful. Not after everything you told me. I wouldn't be the first father to disown a child. People do it every day. There's nothing extraordinary about it, is there? Chief, remember you're running for the seat of the governor. A family drama would be a distraction to the announcement, and you don't want that to happen. Hmm. <sighs> I think I have a better idea. I'll ship her back to the United States, and she can be wild free and she can be as much of a nuisance as she wants to attract to herself. A problematic child will be problematic anywhere she is. And then, Samantha has a huge following on social media. <laughs> Your election will benefit from it. <laughs> oh, Mabel, nothing beneficial can come from Samantha. <laughs> My job is to create a narrative for the public. And I think I could use her huge following on social media. 
I would make her look like a half decent human being. <laughs> she, I'm telling you, we need her. You don't know that social media goes a very long way right now. It's, before you watch television, you go on your phone to see a lot of things. Well, anyway, you know all that. I don't know. But, but, I'm not really considering. I'm not really considering. Hey, Dad. Will you cut that nonsense out? Cut it out! Dad, this is just a joint. Besides, it's very healthy. Hi, Sam. What? <sighs> okay, I'm your father's campaign manager. And so? We are expecting some journalists very soon. Can you go upstairs, change into something nice and come join us for the interview? <laughs> okay? Yeah. Chief, we need her. Chief, I can use her following on social media to, to help this campaign. Honestly, Chief, the social media following is a lot. <laughs> it will help your campaign. I'm telling you, Chief. Oh, social media, social media. <laughs> I don't even think about such things. You don't worry, I'll so handle bad. it. I'll handle it, Chief. I will hold you responsible if this turns negative. I accept, 100%. Hmm. <sighs> okay. The street to your right is Chief Marcos Lane. Okay. Yes, the building on the left, the white building. You just tell the security man that you're here for Chief Marcus. All right, thank you. Okay. So? They are here. Come here. What nonsense are you wearing? Um, what is wrong with what I'm wearing? Why well, you not told you are joining me for an interview on television? Dad. <laughs> By now, you should know that sexy is my style. And about the interview, when you and that funny lady spoke about it, I thought you were joking. Anyways, I have a very important appointment. It's the baby girl appointment. I have to get my brows done, some very nice massage, and you know, all that girl stuff. I'll see you later, Dad. Samantha, if you walk out that door, don't come back. Dad, I just told you that I have an important appointment. Besides, I'm already running late. I've already paid, um, I've already paid this pa. I have to go. I warn you, Samantha. If you walk out that door, consider yourself not a member of this family anymore. And you can't come back here. Daddy, why do you keep threatening me? Miss Samantha. The interview will not take more than 30 minutes, and it's majorly pictures of you and your father. Will you shut your mouth up when I'm speaking to my dad? Who the hell are you? Dad, why do I need to be here for your interview? Huh? Am I the one running for governorship? Am I? You just want me to sit and, and smile for a freaking magazine cover. Wait, um... Loveth can do it. She loves to smile like a fool. So you can sit your ass down beside my dad and smile from chin to chin like a freaking mannequin. Can't you? Get out of my sight. Thank you, Loveth. Yeah. Dad, look, I'm, I'm not having this. I have to leave. Samantha, if anything negative comes out of this oh you will suffer and i promise you that okay where do i sit for the interview hold on please can you change into something else were you deaf 
when I told my dad this is how I love to dress. Go and change, Samantha. Huh? Or you think everybody has to dress like you? You look like my late grandmother, in case you don't know. Go and change. <laughs> I warned you this was a bad idea. Chief, who can do this? I say, you don't sleep until the queen arrives. Okay, queen. Capish? Capish. <laughs> where, where, where's my room? Upstairs. <laughs> I know where my room is. Stupid dumb bitch. <sighs> Love it! Queen? Where, where, where is everybody? Everybody's upstairs sleeping. You're talking back at me? <laughs> You're talking back at me? <laughs> Take me to my room. Take me to my room. Let's go. <laughs> I feel so good. <sighs> <laughs> Take me to my room now! Let's go! <laughs> Take me to my room. <laughs> Take me to my room! <laughs> Samantha, 
Sam. Samantha. Samantha! You are so, so, so pathetic. You are. Good, good. Good morning, Dad. Is this all you can do for yourself? You're drunk? Daddy, that's not why you are shouting. I have a headache. I, I, I was not drunk. I, I just sleepwalked. You're so pathetic. Get your drunken self out of my sight. Good morning, sir. Good morning, love it. Let me have my cup of tea. Good morning, madam. Pick this thing up. And you? Why did you allow me to sleep here? I tried to wake you up. You are mad. You are very mad. I have grown weeks, Abby. Because of these two oranges, I will deflate it. Me. They are very stupid. If I get to my room before you, the kind, the kind of blow I will blow you. I'm mad. Love it. Love it. Yes, sir. Come. Now you listen, from now onwards, whenever she goes out and gets drunk, when she comes back, wherever she falls, leave her there. <laughs> Do not assist her. Okay, sir. Good. Bringing her. Dad, what sort of rule is that? Some other. I know things have been rough for you these days. But you've got to pick yourself up. Become a better version of yourself. I wasn't even drunk, for crying out loud. I only had two glasses of champagne. Besides, I'm, I'm trying. You just don't see it. You only see faults in everything I do. If I don't see it, you wouldn't be in this house. Anyway. Samantha, I am going for a political office. I am going to contest for the governorship of the state. So all eyes will be on you and I. <laughs> and you're telling me this because you don't want me to ruin things for you, like I always do, right? I haven't said that. <sighs> Samantha. Samantha, you are a very special child. You have so much in you. All you need to do is to bring the best that is inside you, outside. That's what I want you to do. That's what I'm doing, Daddy. I'm trying. You have lived a privileged life. You have got everything at your beck and call. You never worked for any, actually. You even have a trust fund you can operate anyhow, any time that you choose. Ah, <sighs> Samantha. But time has come for you to um, become a better person. For you to earn your keep. And because of that, from Monday, you will resume at Globe Enterprises as a junior partner. No, I won't. Look, Dad, I'm not interested in your company. I, I, that's not what I want. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Uh, then you lose a trust fund. Dad, why do you keep threatening me? Samantha, I am not threatening you. I only want you to bring out the best version 
of yourself to become a better person that all this energy all this knowledge all this training all this learning that you have you should be able to exhibit it positively make something out of yourself thomas manta That's why you're now spitting on me. Mm -hmm. I work in your company as what? You're my baby girl for life. Hey, Mama. What's up? Are you free tonight? Confirmed. Yeah, hey, now let's let's go out. I'm in the mood to squander some money. <laughs> yes, I'll send you the location. Come with the girls. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, now. Bye. <laughs> yep, we party. Tonight is for you. <laughs> it's all about you. <laughs> ah! They think Samantha for the people. Samantha for president. Samantha for the Do they know who I am? They don't know. Eh? Eh? They think they can put a leash on me. They have no me. idea who you are. Samantha baby. Samantha the queen. Eh? Eh? Babylonia. <laughs> oh. Oh. No, for them. So hey. nice. The plane! What's my name again? Samantha Baby. Tell me my name! Sammy Baby. Uh -huh, now you're talking. Come on. Hey. Enjoy my money. Oh. 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 This is some good stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Get up, girls. Let's have some Woo. fun. That's for me now! That's for me, let me spray money! Call me my name! Sammy baby! Take your bong bong now! Sammy baby! I say who knows? That's what I'm talking about! Fast! Your shoe. Ah! Now! Fast! Give me! 
Everything I want to collect. Fast. This is a real diamond. Turn your face. Come on, don't look my face. Fast. Baby, come here. Yes, she has just been brought in. She was mocked. We took her bag, everything. Huh? Huh? DPO, please. Nobody touches the tail of the tiger and leaves to tell the story. DPO, oh God. please. I want you to get that godforsaken miscreant. He must be punished. Nobody does anything to my daughter and leaves to tell the story. He must be dealt with. And. Please, make sure that he is found. Well, as usual, come by the house. You, you know how that works. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, so. Um, Chief. Yes. May I say something? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, I suggest you get her a bodyguard. You know, this election era... If they cannot reach you, they will get her as an easy target. And she, you, you, you know how she. Just. Ah. Uh, yeah, Dr. Phil, yes. They just brought her in. She's so traumatized. Uh, I wouldn't want to bring her to the hospital. I will want you to come to the house. Yes. Come and treat her in the house, please. Okay, I'm waiting. Thank you. Okay. Love it, please. Take her upstairs, sir. Huh? Okay. Take her upstairs. Sweetheart, sorry, eh? Just go upstairs, go, go. Um, uh, Mabel. Yes, sir. I think I'm considering your suggestion. Sir, it's, it's the best idea. I mean, she needs a bodyguard. You know how your daughter moves around? She, she moves around very recklessly. Mm. So, Look at what they did. No. Who knows whether they wanted to kill her? That's it. And this is it. This is one of <sighs> the difficult times, sir. So. Yes, yes. I, 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 think I, I think I'll consider that. I think I'll consider that. I think, I think I will consider that. Maybe. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. He's the best around here. Of course, I wouldn't want anything less. Sit. Thank you, sir. Sammy! Sammy, sweetheart! Daddy! Come here. I'm coming. Okay. So, Tega, how are you? Okay. Yes. Sit. Okay. This is Tega. Okay. Your new bodyguard. He goes where you go. He sits where you sit. And when you want to go to anywhere, you give him a heads up. You don't just have him out of your sight. Excuse me? You heard me right. Dad. Yes. Why will I do that? Am I his prisoner? Oh. Wait. What if where I'm going to is impromptu? Uh, sir. Yes, Tega. The reason for this notice is because I will need to perform a security sweep on the place. Know if it's safe for you to be there. That makes it sound like you're my supervisor. I have to give him a notice before I go anywhere. <laughs> what if he deems where I'm going to unsafe? Then you don't go anywhere. Dad. Yes. This seems like a ploy for you to control my movement, and I do not like it. He shouldn't have the power to make that decision. Well, he already has. I've given him the powers. Now he goes where you go, and he makes sure that he doesn't lose you out of his sight. That's just the way it is. We're doing it for our own good. 
so that what happened before doesn't happen again. Dad, the guy that attacked me was a petty thief. I shouldn't have to suffer for his crimes. Miss Samantha, this is far from suffering. You know, if people find out that Chief Marcos's daughter is an easy prey, they will take advantage of it, and that is what we are trying to avoid. So please. Okay. And who are you again? Who the hell are you, and why do you keep interfering in my business? Listen to me and listen very good. I don't know you, so keep your mouth out of my business, okay? Oh, sweetheart. All this is being done for our own good. In any case, I've already taken the decision. Degger here is your bodyguard. He goes where you go. He won't let you out of his sight. And that's an order. Dad, I will do no such thing. If you want me, you, you, if you want to suffer me, then take me to a secondary school instead. Shoot me off to a boarding school. Maybe. Yes, come upstairs. All right, sir. I'm sure this is your handiwork. You advised him. I'm just leaving this house for all of you. You're even crossing your leg. What a joke. What is this? Get out of my way. <laughs> hey. Dad! Dad! Come and take out this bulldog you brought into this house, so oh. I can't have it. Dad! Dad! Yes, I'm already on my way. Okay, see you soon. Stop there. Look. Actually, that's a no for me. A no for you? Do you know who you're talking to? You know what? Stop being silly and sit your ass down. What are you doing? Are you deaf? What's the meaning of this? I'm doing my job. For going out, I need to know exactly where we're headed. Which one is we? I already said you're not going anywhere with me. So get out of my way before you lose your job. Are you deaf? Get out of my way! What is this? Is this your way of saying you hate your life? Because I will make that happen if you don't get out of my way this minute. Get out! I see what you're doing. You want to stand at the door like a mannequin? Have at it, okay? Since time I'm done with you in this house, you know that. Don't worry. It's my dad. It's my dad. I gave you the cops to do this nonsense. I don't blame you. I really don't. Dad, this is nonsense. Why do I have to receive permission from him before going out? I'm hanging out with my friends. The party has already started. There is no way he will go there and perform his stupid sweep. Dad, they told me about the party a few minutes ago. Fine. I can see that I cannot get through to you. Okay, I'll handle it my own way. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. Okay, bodyguard. Let's play. Bodyguard. We got off on the wrong foot earlier on. You see? I hate being told what to do. That's how my father built me. Very stubborn and ferocious. No problem. I was only doing my job. Your father wants me to be thorough. Going to a party means mm -hmm. having an idea of who and who is going to be on the guest list and ascertain any possible threats. Totally understandable. This is yours. Thank you, but I don't drink during work hours. Right. I only wanted us to have a fresh start. I guess I'll get you something softer. Be right back. There you go. Drink up. Mm -hmm. You know, the secret is to wait a couple of minutes and allow the sediment of the drug you're using to dissolve properly. What are you talking about? If you're going to drug me, at least be smart about it. Wait for a couple of minutes for the drug you're using to dissolve properly, or use something instant. Don't be an amateur, please. You must really think you're smart. No, but I am smarter than you. Okay, Sherlock Holmes. We'll see about that. <laughs> Are you being serious? How old is she? Miserable. Enough with the threat. I'm trying to prevent you from putting yourself in harm's way. Get in the car. Let's go home. Who the hell do you think you are? 
My dad? Speaking of your dad, I called him and he gave me express permission to bundle you home by any means necessary. Oh, wow. So if I refuse to go, what would you do? Would you tie a rope around my neck and drag me? Like I said, any means necessary. I would like to see you do your worst. Let's go. Let me alone. What is that? Are you insane? You're embarrassing me. Do you know who I am? You're embarrassing me. Leave me alone. I will make your life miserable. Leave me. I'm not. Wait. You don't have no. Can you behave yourself? No. Stop it. Stop it. Behave yourself. Enough. Look. I'm going to start the car and drive. You can keep hitting me all you want. The worst case scenario is that we're going to run into a truck. I'm ready to die. Are you ready to die? Leave me alone! Huh? You're the one that will die! I'm not dying, you're the one that will die! Just leave me alone! Okay, so behave yourself. Behave. <laughs> oh, by the way, child lock is on. So don't waste your time. I hate you! <laughs> Are you done? Can I drive now? listening to me? He was harassing me. He molested me. He put his filthy hands on me. Enough of this theatric, Sam. Enough! Is that what you call this? Yes, it is. This man rough-handled and manhandled your daughter and all you can say is theatrics? My daughter that can't listen to me. Now he has my instructions to do all it takes. All it takes, really? Sam. Really? yes. You don't do anything without him saying so. I am not his child! But you are mine. And you listen, this is the last time I'm going to say this. The environment is not good for you, okay? You can't get it into your head, okay? Now you listen to me. If you want to go out, give him a heads up. No more theatrics. You understand me? That I hate this thing you're doing. I hate this thing you're doing. I don't like it. I wonder why you're my dad. You're laughing. I see you're really enjoying this. I know your type, and I will put you in your place. Riff raff. But you have made suit. So, Alaji. I am so happy that you are here and you're supporting me. Wallahi talai namuna. That is why I'm learning your language. <laughs> Let us drink a lady. <coughs> Thank you, my chairman. Thank you, my chairman. Thank you. You said you wanted to advise me. So, like I said, because of your ambition, you have to be very, very careful. There shouldn't be issue of scandal. Anything that scandalizes anybody's name would be your family, yourself, mm -hmm. you have to avoid it. Y yes, Chairman. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dad, um. Stop you... there! Uh, Elaji, excuse me, that's what. I'm ready for my date. Dad! Dad, Dad, leave me, you're hurting me! Leave me alone, you're hurting me! Come here, come here! Dad, Dad, you're come hurting here. me! Come here! Daddy! What is this nonsense you're wearing? What is wrong with Do what? you know my party chairman was there? Daddy, what is wrong with what I'm wearing? Huh? This is a dress and I'm, I'm, I'm going for a date. Now listen to me. Before I close my eyes and open it, you're out of this nonsense right now. What do you want me to wear? Go to your bodyguard and he'll tell you. You want me to wear a suit and a bow tie? Get out of my sight immediately. Dad, I don't like this thing you're doing. Get out of here now. Oh my God, Dad, you're being like a Jew guy and I hate it. Ugh. What is wrong with this girl? She's actually driving me to the wall. This better work for you. You don't understand why I will have nice, sweet, firm boobs, but my father would not allow me to show it off.
Oh, this is so uncomfortable. Oh. <laughs> A little peekable. <laughs> what are you looking at? Will you put your face on the damn road? Silly. Your father is right, you know. You're way better covered up than looking like that. And who made you fashion police? It's free advice. Besides, based on the instruction given by your dad, I should turn around to the house, seeing you in that dress. Turn around and watch me jump out. And free advice to you, Mr. Bodyguard. Mind your business, okay? I mean the business that pays you, of course. Your job here is to bodyguard me and not tell me what to wear and what not to wear. Nonsense. You can see you have a big mouth. Is this how to drive? Huh? I don't know why my dad would hire someone this incompetent. You can't even drive. I'm sure I drive better than you. What is it? What are you looking at? <laughs> you really want to see my boobs? Look at it. Boobs. Are you, are you satisfied? You want to come to the back so you can see it in close proximity? Is that what you want? You want to bodyguard me, right? You want to be a slave. Boy, I will teach you how to be a slave. You will follow me everywhere I go to. That's what you want, right? Have at it. Can you move this car? Hey, hey. I'm talking to you. Move. Move this car. Stop driving like a girl. Oh, my God. Really? Really, bodyguard? Really? We're dancing on the road now? Take this from me. Oh shit. I'm, my scarf. I'm this scarf. I thought you didn't care. Not today, Satan. Uh, good evening, Daddy. Samantha. Yes, Dad. What will I do to get through to you? Um, Dad. Good evening. How are you doing? What do you like defying me? Daddy, the weather was so hot, I was literally baking inside the the scarf and I just had to take it off. But the party chairman saw you. Now, what will the party think of me if I can't control my own household and I want to govern the whole state? Okay, Dad, I don't understand what my dress has got to do with your gubernatorial race. A lot! I saw your post on the social media with this stupid outfit. But Dad, it's, it's, it's nothing. You're the one making noise about it. I'm sure they don't even care like you do. They do, Samantha. And for this reason, all activities around your trust fund is hereby suspended. Excuse me? Dad? Samantha, if you want to live under my roof, enjoy my money, my power, and everything around me. You have to obey my rules. Daddy, why would you, why would you just take out? Why would you, how am I supposed to survive? Dad, you have no right to do that. It's already done, child. Well, if you want money, you can get a job. Anyway, your position in global enterprise still subsists. No, Daddy, I will not let you do that. You know I cannot work, I'm too fragile to work, and now you want to, Daddy! Daddy, you're walking out on me! I tried to warn you. Now you listen to me. Do not speak unless you're spoken to, okay? 
douchebag. Dad! Dad! There you go. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. So, girl, hope you're game for Capri this weekend. Babes, it was your idea for us to throw my birthday party there. We're traveling private, so everyone has to pull their weight. <laughs> What's up with you, Sam? This was your idea. I know. But I'm afraid I'll have to pass. That's the way. Maldi. <laughs> Funny. Babes, look. I'm sorry, okay? But I promise you, on your next birthday, mm -hmm. we can go. We can go to Vegas. We can anywhere you want. Just name it. Sammy, what is really up with you? We've been planning this together. And I've already reserved the room for you. I know. It's just that. <sighs> Vera, my dad is playing tricks with my phones. Your dad is doing what? He cut me off. Shut up. I'm serious. He cut me off. Just when I thought he couldn't embarrass me any further, he pulls this stunt on me. Then get your emergency fund. Ask Remy to sponsor you. This is Capri, girl. I can't, babe. I can't. You see, eh? With what I'm planning, if I make this trip, it's going to ruin everything for me. I can't even imagine telling everyone we're cut off. I have to do something now. Please, ha. don't tell anybody you. Please, it's, it's already embarrassing as it is. Imagine Cynthia hearing about this. Ha. Just keep your mouth shut. We need to find a way, girl. Don't, don't tell anyone. I don't worry. Agbabola. How much? Uh -uh. Since they worry this one now. Auntie Sammy. Auntie Sam. Hey, God, stop all that bitches. Auntie Sammy. Hey, Daddy, oh! Yeah! Daddy! She tried to kill herself? Yes, our father is pretty shaken up. I travel for three days and this happens? How is she? She just returned from the hospital. You know that girl deserves an Oscar. You think she's faking it? Don't you think so? Her father cuts her off and then she starts popping pills. How many did she take? Enough to freak him out. And then he reinstates her trust fund. I underestimated that girl. Suicide? <laughs> wow. Wow. Maybe she's actually depressed. Depressed from what exactly? From driving everyone around her crazy? Huh? I mean, she did lose her mother recently in a car accident. I heard she was driving. I can leave his car. And who told you that? The housekeeper. She's not depressed. That girl is smart, but she's using her smartness stupidly. I'll go see her. Maybe. Yes, sir. I think I've been too hard on my daughter. Oh, no, you weren't. I mean, you were just trying to restore order in your home. Oh, I really don't think so. I, I think I went too far by freezing her account and is hurting her. Uh, and you suggested that. 
<laughs> Chief, I'm sorry to say this, but I think she's trying to manipulate you. Well, maybe she's manipulating me. But you know, she's the only family I have left. You may not understand the bond between a father and a, a daughter, an only daughter, and only surviving relative. It's very deep. I've always informed the accountant to unfreeze the account. Oh, Chief. Mm -hmm. It's like taking two steps backward after taking a step forward. <sighs> Mabel, Mabel, Mabel. I know you manage me, you manage my home, manage things around me. <laughs> Mabel, you don't understand. This is between me and my daughter. <laughs> my only daughter. Uh, let's leave it at that. I've taken that decision, okay? And uh, I just want her to be happy, okay? All right, so All right. if you say uh, so. Oh, there she comes. Sweetheart. Ah. But the doctor says you should have some rest. Where are you off to? Lovett is already making something for me to eat. I just came to grab a bottle of water. Okay, if you need anything else, you just ask her. I've already informed her as to what to do, okay? <laughs> uh, Mabel, you know... Um, that it is what it is. <laughs> I understand. I, I, do, I, do. I quite understand. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, so what has been happening with you now? See what has been happening now. I don't have time to go out and do all my stuff. Oh my God. Relax. What's the meaning of this? Why are you embarrassing? Embarrassing you how? So this is the thought that can handle something that has been following you about everywhere you go. More like a pain in my behind. Oh wow. Or you want him on bed. Stop. Want him on your behind, huh? Why are you talking like a chicken no show? Acting like you've never seen a man before. Hi. Relax. Ah. Ah, I'm done with you. What, what is this? Eh? Yeah. So this is how he follows her up and down. Hey! I need my own bodyguard though. See problem. <laughs> What is wrong with you? What do you want? Hey, I'm talking to you. What do you want in my room? After the drug incident, your father thinks it's best if I'm always in the room with you. Huh? Samantha, you have suffered. So what now? You're now my suicide watcher, right? There's nothing funny about trying to harm yourself. Oh, wow. Were you scared I was going to die? Or were you going to miss me? I know you probably did this for the attention. You know nothing about me. I know your dad is worried about you. He gave me clear instructions to always be by your side. He doesn't trust you with you. <laughs> so if I'm going to the bathroom, you'll follow me, right? Not necessarily, but if you stay in there for too long, I might have to come in. You pervert. You sick bastard. Get out of my room! I didn't give the order, but if you have a problem with it, call your dad. Stop testing me. You're really testing me. Get out of my room this minute. I can't do that. Get out of my room! Behave. You must really think you're James Bond. Behave. I don't blame you. The next time I'll pour you acid. Try me. Sense. Now I'm in the bathroom. You can come and see my naked body.
What are you doing in my bathroom? never entered my bathroom to use it before. What are you talking about? Did you see me in your dream or something? Look, I just want to sound a clear warning to you. My bathroom is a no-go area. Oh my goodness. Oh, You saw me in your dream. It wasn't a dream. It was a nightmare. <laughs> ah, there she is. In the middle of the day, dreaming about me. Get out of my room! No. In your dream. You're such a weirdo. <laughs> Go back to sleep, princess. Around. Yes, he's in the study. Have you seen Samantha? You lost her. Oh, she's trying to evade me. Chief is not going to hear that one. I know, but you don't know that girl. She's crazy. It feels like I'm dealing with the devil. <laughs> you know, I thought things were going to get better as the day goes by, but <sighs> she's driving me crazy. She's, that girl is a nutcase. All I get is endless insanity. Welcome to the club. <laughs> ah, she's really driving me insane. She does that to everyone. Just take care of my brother. You don't exactly make my work easy, right? I don't. <laughs> How about now? Clean this mess up, bulldog. Why are you not picking your calls? My phone was on silent mood. 
That is some high level incompetence right there. I'll be heading to the club in a few minutes. Hurry up with whatever you're doing. And put on your shirt. You're still on the clock. Why do you have a grin on your face? Go get me Lovett now. And tell her to come with a rapper. <laughs> okay, boss. Actually, you really don't care what's underneath. I mean, you're barely covering anything. Are you insane? Are you mad? Go get me Lovett now! I don't have to do anything for you. I could fire you now, you know? What's on your way to go? Enjoy. You must be very stupid. I don't even know why I'm engaging with you riffraff like yourself. Oh my goodness. Why is it taking you time to pick your phone call? Come to the car, get me a rapper. Now! What do you mean I don't... Get me a rapper! There's fools everywhere. Madam Samantha, this is actually your opportunity to walk naked. You yeah? better keep your mouth shut. <laughs> yes. Bloody bulldog! I'd like to see how you get in. It was an amazing moment. Samantha, why did you lock out Tega? Shh, enough of this nonsense. Mom. Now listen, Samantha. Enough of all this partying. You're not the only one being seen now. You are now being seen. Huh? And they will now address me as a father with a drunk daughter. Daddy, I'm not a drunk. I only had... Two glasses of champagne. <laughs> now listen to me. No more partying. No more wild junketing. No more wild life. Are you listening to me? I am not going to have that. Okay. So, are you going to cut me off? Oh, I do much more than that. Mm -hmm. I will send you back to the United States where you live like a wild cat on your own penny. That's unfair. <laughs> now listen, I have told Tega, no more parties, you won't be going out at night anymore, no. you must listen and obey. No, daddy, no. I, ah. <laughs> Dad, I only had two, two glasses of champagne. Yes. <laughs> You, you take a, you bloody bulldog. You sleep out there tonight. <laughs> yes, Vera, that's exactly what I'm saying. I can't. I can't throw the party here again. My dad has warned me against throwing parties in his house. Even if he's not around, what about his bulldog? He will snitch on me, he will tell him. Are you kidding me? I'm sure he's somewhere hovering around, eavesdropping on me. Babe, we just, we have to find a way to party outside. Okay. Yeah, that works for me. Mm-hmm. Get out. Um, I'm practically ready. <laughs> I just need to grab my heels and I'll be with you. Oh, yeah, no. 
I'll see you. Look hot, oh. All right, baby. Yeah. Bye. Let's go. Take me back to the party. Ah, leave me alone. Give me my cook. Give, give me, give me my cook. Give, give it to me. Give me my cook. Give Let's me. Go. No, take me back to the party. I don't want to be home. Sing this down the toilet. Give me my coke. What is wrong with you? Huh? The question is, what is wrong with you? Have you completely lost it? What are you doing with this? Give me my coke. I mean, it's it's a party. Live a little, okay? And what if your father saw you with this? What, hmm? do, you, what do you care? Are you my boyfriend? Wait. Do you want to be my boyfriend? Is that what this is about? Oh my God! Mr. Protective has fallen in love with me. Mm. Back off. You like me, don't you? Back off. Oh, stop acting like you don't want it. You know you want it. I'll give you maximum pleasure. Have you gone crazy? What kind of demonic attention seeking strategy is this? You know what? The party is over. Is it? If I were you, I'll move to my room and sober up. Love it. Love it. What's the hold up? Oh my God. We can't leave her like this. She said we should always be very good. Anytime she gets too high and vomits like this. You want her to sleep in her puke? Come on, that's unfair. But that's what Chief said. Chief doesn't have to know. Please, do this for me. Loveth. It's because of you. I don't know where to Thank start you. from.
you change me into this outfit? The alternative was to let you sleep in your puke. What? But you gave me a bath? How on earth do you think it's okay for you to undress me and bathe me? You know, a normal person would say thank you. You know what? I will not just have you fired. I will have you arrested for sexual assault. Oh, please, stop ranting, you little baby. Loveth took you to the bathroom and cleaned you up. I only helped her carry your heavy ass to the bed. Don't you ever use the word heavy to describe me again. Oh, but my wrist and shoulders are still recovering from the heavy lifting I did yesterday. I had to use ice to massage it. Hmm. I see you're having fun. But it's not funny. You're very lucky you're not the one that changed me. Um, Tega? Can I... Can I ask you for a favor? Please not tell my dad what happened last night. Uh, uh, I, 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 I know I overdid it, especially with the cocaine. Um, just don't tell him, please. Well, I'm supposed to brief him about you when he returns. Just leave out the little details. It, it's going to kill him if he finds out. Especially with the coke. I, please, just don't snitch on me. You call it snitching. I call it doing my job. Look, it was just a stupid mistake. Like I said, I was carried away. I mean, you've seen me party before. I'm usually not like this. So please, just... Don't tell my dad. I... I owe you one. Please. I will think about it. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> well, looking good. Thank you. How did the meeting go? Awesome. Gradually, I'm becoming the party's favorite. Wow. Yeah. That's good news. It is. Dad, I am very sure you will do very well in the primaries. <laughs> looking forward to it, so keep working hard. Definitely. You going now? Um, yes. I want to see Vera very quickly. All right. So be careful, okay? I will, Daddy. I come in. All right. Thank you. All right, see you later. All right. Okay. Um, Dad? Yes. Can I get another hug? Sure, <laughs> I love you, Daddy. I love you too, right. sweetheart. See you soon. Okay. Uh... <laughs> you. You didn't tell on me. I decided to give the abridged version of the story. Mm. Save Chief from the heartache. Thank you. I owe you one. So, what did you do with my coke? I told you. I flushed it down the toilet. Uh-huh. You sure you didn't sniff some of it? 
or keep some for yourself? Huh? <laughs> Fine. Take me to Vera's apartment. <laughs> staring at me like that. Shoot. Um, hold on, hold on. We have to skip Vera's house. She's at a restaurant, so we have to meet her there. Just turn around. You need to stop springing up new places at me. I need to know exactly where we're headed before time. You need to come. Down, Mr. Grouch. We've been to the said location severally. It's completely safe, okay? Please turn around here. To the restaurant. Samantha, I really don't feel good about this place. Mr. Bodyguard, I've told you this place is like home. Okay? Besides, we're not even in the regular section. This is the VIP, and as you can see, it's just me and my friend here. Mm -hmm. Don't know why you're worried. <sighs> oh, shoot. I left my phone in the car. Let me quickly get it. The key. Don't worry. I'll get the phone. Just please hurry. Don't leave. No. Babe. My darling, I have so hard. My jam. Uh -huh. My jam! Uh -huh. Hey, 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 hey. I love this song. I really love this song. Woo! Louder, DJ. Anymore. 
No, I can't. I can't. Uh, I can't even move my legs. Please drive. That's fear. Drive. That's fear paralyzing you. You can do this. I can't. Okay. I can't. Please. I can't. I can't. Uh, Take a please go. I don't want to. I don't want to die. Take a please move this guy. I don't want to, to die. Me. You can do this. All right. You'll be your dad has sent men to the scene. Please, just come and take over. I can't, I can't, Look, I you can't. need to get me to the hospital, else I'll bleed out. Okay? Okay. Oh my God, what do I do? I can't Samantha, do this, I can't do this. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Okay, just come and take over. You can do this, I believe in you. Okay. Shh, Samantha, Samantha, you can do this. Please, if you don't move, I'll bleed to death. Please. I'm oh my die. God! You're sure I can do this? Yes, you can do it. Come on. What, if they, what, if, what if they come? come what if they come? Come, come, come on, open the door for me. Jesus! Come on. Oh my God! Oh my God, Taka! Taka, you're bleeding! There's a lot of blood! It's a lot of blood! Jesus! 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 I can't! have to resume so soon. <sighs> you should have rested some more. I've rested enough. If I stay at home one more day, I'll lose my mind. Um, how's the hand? It's, it's healing. I am so sorry for my role in it. You didn't do anything wrong. I did. I should have sat my ass at home. They would have looked for another way. Vera's phone was stolen. The attack was targeted at you. That's what my dad said. You saved me. For that, I will forever be grateful. Um, Tega? I'm sorry. I know that I have been a brat towards you. I've been stubborn, I've been naughty, I've been nasty, and I sincerely apologize. Find a place in your heart to forgive me. <sighs> and look, I, I wouldn't have been able to forgive myself if anything happened to you. If you hadn't come out of this alive, I... Thank you. You did great. All right? You were very, very brave. You took me to the hospital right on time. Can I touch it? Okay. Oh, Tega, Tega, Tega. Ah, Tega, assuming you I will compensate you a lot. Thank you, sir. I was only doing my job. No. You were a lifesaver. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now you're here for me, sir. Yes, Sweetheart, yes. you're here for me, sir. You're here for me, okay? okay? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Yes. Um, oh. Thank you. Really. I will be in my room. If you need anything, do not hesitate to ask me. Sure. I'll be on standby.
Love it. Love it. What are you doing? I can handle this. No, you shouldn't. Where is Love? I have no idea. Okay. No, don't worry. You don't have to stress yourself. It's fine. Okay. It's my pleasure. Um, do you need more? Actually, I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Love it! I told you not to worry. I thought maybe you forgot this. I did not. You really need to stop doing that. Is that what you want? It's kind of distracting. It doesn't help me concentrate on my job. Men month, oh, men month. Ah, men month. All this girl almost boy. All this girl almost girls. Men month, oh, men month. Men month. Men month, oh, men month. Hey. Hey, are you deaf? No, deaf. Leave me now. Have you seen Tega? Tega. Are you deaf? Oh! I got Tega! Ah! You went out. I don't know if you don't come back. Oh. Tega! Tega! I never come back. Have you seen I can't believe Tega took a bullet for me. If not for him, I'd probably be dead by now. I swear, he's a lifesaver. God. But come to think of it, you left me. Your best friend. If I slap you, you that before I even opened my eyes, you, are, you were already somewhere else. Oh, you I should run. not run. You run first. You want to run? Uh, because he had bodyguard with so you. So you could not save me first. Oh, who you. would have I saved know. me? How are you? Excuse me. Who are you expecting? It's not that you've been no, looking around checking. I'm not expecting anyone. I beg. Ha. Stop. Are you sure? Like We've been looking around. Mm. Babe, you know we need to be careful now. This one that they are pointing guns at us. Okay. I'm just... Even in the house, we need to be protected, yeah? Finally. So you decided to abscond from your job. I've been looking for you since morning. Oh, I, I, sorry, I did not know. How is the hand? And um, what did the doctor? No reason. Well. <laughs> okay. Uh, I want to see you soon. Hi. <clears throat> oh, 
Rosa. Rosa, Oh, wow. I go love her. Can they take bullet for you? Oh, please. Can anyone? God did it for me. I beg you. Mm. Love it. Love it. Yes. I feel you something I never felt before. Have you seen Tega? Yes. He went out. This should be something I never learned before. Every day feels like I've never knew before. Just be sure you'll be safe in mind. Keep you warm when it's cold in my heart. I'll be strong when you down when you need. I'll be there making sure you're safe in my heart. Cause you always be Cause you always be I see you. Taga. Where have you been? And why are you avoiding me? Uh, what? It's obvious. You're avoiding me. Usually when you resume, my bedroom is the first place you come to. To torture me with your presence. So, why are you avoiding me? Well, I didn't want to torture you with my presence today. And yesterday? I didn't see you at all until evening. What exactly is going on? Um, Samantha. I think... I think we need to give each other space. Space? Tega, we haven't even started dating. It's not a wise idea. It's against protocol. Is that what your heart is saying? I could lose my job. Your father will despise the idea. Do you have intentions of telling my father? Because I don't. Look, Tega. I like you very much. Sam. And I know you feel the same way for me too. Or unless it's just in my head. No, of course not. So you like me too? Um, Tega, do you like me? Yes. I like you. I think about you every day. Then why are you avoiding me? Why can't we be together? Why? I'll be strong. Cause you always be my Protective service agency. Mm -hmm. Awesome. 
are you licensed to carry a gun? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should snitch on you. <laughs> hmm. I've been meaning to ask, why don't you have an online presence? My clients are offline. Hmm. You don't know that? Well, we have an Instagram page. Okay, that's a good start. I'll create a LinkedIn page for you. A Wikipedia and a website. What? I believe the words you're supposed to say is thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Samantha. You're welcome. You're a very smart woman. I know. I have it on my daily reminder. Mm. <laughs> Why are you staring at me like that? You know, people need to see this side of you often. Excuse me? I show it. Do you? Yes, I do. I don't think your father knows this side of you exists. What? Did I say something wrong? Mm -hmm. Not exactly. Um, about my dad. The only thing he sees when he looks at me is a whack job. He sees me as a failure and never do well. I can never impress him no matter what I do. Then stop trying to impress him. Do you. Do what makes you happy. What do you want out of life, Samantha? I want to be happy. Are you? Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm happy with you, Tega. <laughs> Same here. Hmm. I'm ecstatic when I'm around you. <laughs> You're precious. Always remember that. <laughs> but she has to be precious. Dad? Yeah. Oh, you're not sleeping? No. Um, What's the matter? I was thinking mm. maybe it's time I resume at Globe Enterprise. Really? Yes, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. So, I'll sleep see you in the morning then. Okay, Daddy. Great. Good night. Good night, dear. <laughs> oh. mm, that's good. That's good. <laughs> she has gone full circle. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> the first daughter in <laughs> town. 
Dad. <laughs> I had you hit it. Thank at you, Daddy. Yourself. Yes, I did. <laughs> it was a matter of confidence. Mm. You know, the moment I told them we were walking away, mm -hmm. they started speaking our language. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, and I was only bluffing. You see? And this is your first break at Club Enterprise. Yes, Dad. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much, Daddy. This is the beginning of great things to come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the campaigns are starting in two days' time. Awesome. I'm rooting for you, Dad. And I'm very sure you're going to ace it. Uh -huh. The way you ace everything you touch. And this is the beginning of good things to come. Yes. Congratulations, <laughs> first daughter of oh the Oh my state. God, I cannot wait. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Ah, you have done very well. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you so much. Ah. Mm. Let me get back to Go on. work. <laughs> It's happening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <sighs> Good morning, Dad. Wow. <laughs> Who am I saying? Where's my daughter? <laughs> that is tough. <laughs> Good morning. This is amazing. Mm. Good morning. Mm. <laughs> so how's it going at Global Enterprise? Very well, Dad. Mm. Steven is showing me the ropes. <laughs> Amazing. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank Let's you, go. Daddy. Thank mm. you. I'm Dad. Mm -hmm. So, once upon a time, yeah. I wanted to get my MBA. I think it's about time to go back to that once upon a time. <laughs> Amazing. So, you're going back to school? Yes, Dad. Um, part time studies, though. It's okay. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Great. I will support you all the way. I support you to the hilt. Thank you, Daddy. I, I just want to make a meaning out of my life. You will, my dear. Yes. <laughs> I will back you. Thank you, Daddy. All right, my darling. All right. Now I be off. I'll see you. <laughs> Have a great day, Bye, right? Daddy. Yes. Be careful. All right, I will. Wow. That is a tangential transformation. Amazing. Amazing. My daughter is back. <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh, Mabel. Yes, sir. The campaigns are starting in earnest in two days. I do hope the party chairman is still with us. <laughs> Chief, he doesn't have a choice. You are the people's favorite. <laughs> we thank God. We thank God. Mm. I thank God. Yeah. Uh, oh, Dad. yeah. Welcome to Hat. I'm back. Yeah, thank you, yes. uh, Dad. So how's your day? Very well. Um, I have something to discuss with you. But you're just coming in. Why don't you go up, uh, freshen up? No, Dad. It's fine. This is very important. It's about the Rochas oil deal. Okay. So I was going through the contract they sent, mm. and I can see some red flags. I have a strong feeling that they want us to sign a bad deal. Really? Yes. I mean, look at page two. Can you see this? Mm -hmm. And then page five. Mm -hmm. Why don't you discuss that with Steven? I did, but he told me that Rochas is your body and you got the contract yourself. Yes, but I'm hardly around. Uh, both of you should handle it. I trust you. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> I will let you know how it goes. Great, great, great. Thank you. Hi, Mabel. Hi. <laughs> All right. All right, dear. You're forgetting your phone. Oh, thank you, Daddy. Mm. <sighs> I'm so tired. Please, you just need to put those feet in warm water <laughs> and relax, okay? All right, I will love it. Get me something to drink. Yes, that's true. Love it, are you there? Yes. What happened to her? Well, I just woke up one morning. Boom. My daughter's changed. Hallelujah. Well, I think um, all the trauma my near-death experience that she has been through must have contributed. Well, that's true. You know, sometimes trauma makes people reevaluate their life. And I love this one. I agree with you. Huh. 
Now, back to what you were doing, continue the letter. But again, you've got to do letters to what chairman okay. and prepare their white envelopes. You know how that works? <laughs> yes, Chief. <laughs> Good. <sighs> Have you called him? Yes, he's busy, but he's coming. He needs to come down with this fire on the mountain. God. Mabel. Mabel. Good evening, Chief. What is it? I can't wait. Huh? What is it? What's the problem? Chief, it's about your daughter. What happened? My daughter is in her room sleeping. Yes, it's not about what she did today. I mean, Chief, look at this. What? 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 When did this happen? Honestly, I don't know. Someone sent me this video a while ago. It's already trending on all social media platforms. Even on, on X. When did this happen? Sir, I think it's a long time ago, sir. L long time? Oh. Chief. You little brat. Wake up, you little brat. Wake up. Wake up. I said no parties. Didn't I? But I, didn't, I didn't have any party. Oh, you didn't have any party. What is this? What is this? Uh, Dad, this was a very long time ago. Very long time ago, before I started my campaign? Was that? Was that? Now, I think you're beginning to get me very angry. And I am going to disown you. Is that what you want? Sorry. Oh, I think it's time I brought it to the table for to discuss it. That, do you want to still be part of me? Yeah. You sure? Okay. Now go get your things. Pack them. You're going back to the United States immediately. Dad! Th Dad, I said I'm sorry. Uh -huh. I did not intend... I should calm down. Tega, did you see the video? Yes, I saw the video. But it's not the end of the world. Are we talking about the same video? You were at a party. Things went out of hand. But Mabel is already drafting a press release. <laughs> Things are going to get under control. Did you see the way he looked at me? Like I'm a worthless reject. An utter failure. This is why I don't even bother trying. Because it always ends like this. In disappointment. <laughs> Just because of one mistake, one silly mistake, my father now sees me as a demon from hell that wants to ruin his political career. I want to ruin his campaign, I want to ruin his life, his empire. I'm... Come on, <laughs> don't say that. But yes, he's right. I'm a bad person. I'm a failure. I'm all the things he said to me. Come on, don't say that. No one is perfect. <laughs> it's easy for you to say. After all, you're not the one being accused of trying to ruin 
<laughs> his father's political career. Just, I'm just, I'm just tired of everything at this point. <laughs> some struggles but who hasn't the most important thing is that you're working your way out of it my dad wants me to go back to the US he's tired of me he can't stand me anymore and I don't blame him I'm worthless Yes, yes, honorable. Yes, yes. Um, it will be ready. Yes, uh, a statement. A statement will be ready in five minutes. Mm. Uh, yes. Um, okay. Mm. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, so, how far? Uh, so, so, mm. so, um, keep, keep, keep tapping, keep tapping. Uh, don't you think that if we, if we, you know, right, that is, Photoshopped, it's deep fake, you know, it could solve the problem. That was what the Secretary General was suggesting. Oh, Chief, I don't think so. I mean, it will make us look like stupid liars. I believe that the person or people that posted that video are baiting us. And they have a lot more videos. If we try to deny it, they will release them. So I think it won't work. Just, 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 just keep walking. Just keep walking. Tega! 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 Why did you stop the party? Why? Why did you stop the party? I said she must not attend any party. Yes? There was barely a party. There were about five to seven people there. But it, it looked like a party to me. Things were already getting out of control. I couldn't shut it down. I thought she was hanging out with friends. It was not his fault. When we got there, he wanted to shut it down, but I wouldn't let him. Daddy, I'm sorry. Samantha. Samantha. Samantha, what will your sorry do for me? In the video, you were seen snorting cocaine. Dragged my name to the mud. You have tired my personality. You have destroyed my gubernatorial ambition. Oh, Samantha. Chief. Samantha. Chief, this can you can you calm down? We can't give up hope yet. Please. We can still spin this as your daughter is a troubled one. I mean, you've tried everything to help her, but she still couldn't. Walk past her demon. She's no longer that kind of person. Huh? 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 Oh, I told you. Huh? I know I've always been the black sheep of this family. But please, I will do anything you want me to do to make this right. Please. Anything at all. If, if you want me to speak to a journalist, I will. Just tell me what you need me to do. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. I don't think that's necessary. You have a huge following on social media. I think you should just write up something. It will go a long way. Okay. I will get to it right away. Please just, just do it right away. Daddy, please, I'm sorry. Chief. Chief, please. I saw your press statement. 
I hope it really helps. My dad is very pissed at me. Um, you don't want my dad walking in on us. It's a good thing he gave me permission to be in your room. trying to pacify me. I meant every word. I love you, Samantha Boyega, with every fiber in me. I love you too, my bodyguard. Stubborn, arrogant girl. I just hope he forgives me. He will. He will. Sorry, Dad. Daddy, please, I'm sorry. Dad, please. I'm sorry, Dad. I, I know I'm the reason you lost the primaries. And I am sincerely sorry. Please. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me, Daddy. Please, Daddy. I'm sorry, Daddy. I'm... Daddy. Daddy, if you want me to, if you want me to leave, I, I'll leave. If you want me to go back to the states, I'll go back to the states. Just, just find a place in your heart to forgive me. Daddy, please. I don't want to go back to the U.S., Dad. I, I know I messed up. I messed up big, big time, but I'm willing to make amends that I will do anything, anything humanly possible to show you that I'm a different person, Dad. I've left my old ways behind. I'm no longer that stubborn daughter you used to know. Daddy, please just believe me for once. I'm sorry. Daddy, I'm sorry. Please. Please, Daddy. Please just find it. Please, you have to forgive me, Daddy. I'm sorry. I am sorry, Daddy. Daddy, please. What did he say? You know how my dad is. I feel like he sincerely despises me. I don't think so. You're his daughter. Besides, you're one of those ones. Which ones? You're one of those individuals that no matter how hard you try, you can't hate them. My, my dad hates me.
That is not Shut up! I... Shut up! Oh, I've let you into my daughter's room and this is what I get! This is what I get! Daddy, I... Shut I... up, I said! Oh, little wonder then. You never told me anything about the drugs. You witnessed it. You have become incompetent. Huh? No, Daddy. Shut up! Chief. I can explain. The word would you want to explain? I am not interested in your lady's inclinations, young man. You're fired. Yeah. You're fired. Go get your things and leave my premise in two minutes. Daddy, I... To imagine that I came in here because I'm forgiving you. Have you seen the video? Only to see this little wonder then, I say, was she big? She remains a big. Dad, I'm Shut sorry. up! As to this incident, it must never repeat itself. Never. Young lady, you're beginning to piss me off. And if you drive me to the wall, you'll be so shocked. I'm sorry. I... I have to go. Please don't go. Don't leave me. Listen, if this is how you'll be looking at the food, I shall be eating alone now. We'll do that upstairs. Lovett, have you heard? Yes, sir. I have to be eating alone upstairs. Okay, sir. Dad. Yes? Fire him all you want. But please, don't put an embargo on our relationship. I will not support you having a relationship with a thug. He is not a thug, Dad. You know him. His is a tool. He's somebody we use and drop. He's a nobody. No, Dad. Whatever he was, was in the past. He, I am not a saint either. He is a murderer. You don't need a murderer. What about me? Huh? I've been a mess since Mom died. But Tega has been there for me. He contributed to my healing. If mom were alive today, she would have supported our relationship. Now, stop! Stop! How dare you? How dare you blackmail me with my late wife? I will not support you going out with a misfit, an incompetent idiot. I won't support that. But that, I'm not lying. Mom's death shook me. But Tega is helping me pull myself together. I told you that and you don't want to. You refuse? I don't need... What I need is Tega. I love him so much, Dad. Now, you listen. I will not be around and you go out with a misfit, an idiot, a nincompoop, a fool, a zombie. No, I've lost my appetite. He's not a nincompoop. When I love him, I love him, Dad, and you're not going to stop me from loving him.
Let's run away. Your father could come around. No, he won't. I know my dad very well. He's very stubborn. He will never come around. He's your father. You're his only child. And I'm sick and tired of his constant rejection. It can be very heart-wrenching. Babe, we were doomed from the start. No. No, Tega, we are not. Listen, let's, let's just run away. Let's go to any country, any country of your choice. Let's just elope together. And then what? Your father is a very powerful man. This will obviously upset him. You're not afraid of my dad, are you? I'm just being careful and respectful. Look, I want us to work. And I also want us to do it the right way. If we do this, it will ruin your family. So what are you saying? Wait. You want to break up with me? No. You're confusing me, Tega. You don't want to sneak around. You don't want to run away. Then what do you want? What do you expect us to do? I've told you, I know my dad. And getting his approval is not possible. So what do we do? When you figure out what you want, I guess you know where to find me. I'm out of here. So. Sam. Sam. He said no. He wants your approval. It's going to make him happy. Dad. You're not a heartless person. I know, I know you want to make me happy. Sweetheart, he's a thug. He's not good for you. Was. That he was. <sighs> Tega is very smart and educated. He even has his own company, Dad. Besides, you've never been one to care about status. Daddy, please, just... <sighs> please, just give him your approval. Please. I want the best for you. Then, then, Daddy, this is this is what I want. This, Daddy, Dad. You know we could be sneaking around, but he said no. Do you know why he said no? Because he respects you, Dad. Because he respects me. Daddy, he loves me, and I love him too. All my life, I have never fallen in love with anybody. Please, Dad. Please don't take this away from me, Daddy. Please, just give us your approval. Daddy, I beg you, please. I love him so much and I don't want to lose him. 
Son, I hope you came with appetite. the chicken myself exactly the way you like it. It's so important. <laughs> yeah, I like it when you cook. Thank you, Daddy. It reminds me of your mom. <laughs> you will enjoy the chicken, young man. It's always well made in this house. <laughs> so, <clears throat> shall we pray? Interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My favorite part was the chicken. I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you for fighting for us. You're worth it. I will fight the whole world for you and for us. <laughs> I'll learn. <laughs> oh, it's a good thing I know how to fight too. Of course you do. I remember when you cut the slippers I threw at you. <laughs> James Bond. <laughs> oh my God. I love you so much. And I love you too, Samantha. Show me how much you love me. Ha <laughs> 
You know what? Oh my I <laughs>